The uh, two recipients from the, we'll start with the uh, recipients from the uh, pre-1940 era, and uh, we'll call on on uh, Jay Grantier and his family. Uh, Jay uh, was a McKinsey County rancher back in the uh, late uh, 1800s, uh, came into the Dickinson area. Uh, I think as we look at the uh, things that uh, Jay uh, con contributed uh, and did, uh, he was one of those individuals that made two complete uh, uh, trips to Texas and back, and I think uh, uh, fittingly he was described as an outstanding cowboy and horseman who knew well the trails, the challenges, and joys of early day ranching. So Jay and your family, please come forward. Thank you very much. There are a number of, uh, quite a number of descendants of Jay Grant here uh, in the audience uh, here today. Uh, some 40, I'm guessing, from, uh, from seven different states. And the first bit of good news I'm going to give you is I'm not going to introduce them all. But I do want to introduce a couple. Uh, my dad was uh, first married to a lady named Sophie Gamache in 1895. They had six sons, one of whom is with us today. That's Ed Grantier. He now lives in Sydney, Montana. He's 87 years old. He lives there with his wife, Betty. And uh, Ed, if you just want to wave, you don't have to stand up unless you want to. Betty also happens to be the... Uh, His wife, Betty, also happens to be the daughter of another Hall of Famer, Frank Keogh. The second individual I'd like to introduce uh, is a uh, son of uh, one of my dad's sisters, Mary. Uh, Mary married a fellow named Alec Dahl, and they were fortunate enough to have a son by the name of Randall. Randall uh, and his wife uh, have driven here all the way from Chehalis, Washington. Randall's about 84. I'm not giving away any secrets, I don't think. Randall, why don't you stand up or wave? <laughs> well, this indeed is a very special day. It's one we've, uh, one we've been waiting for and hoping for for a long time. And, uh, uh, and in trying to find the words uh, to express our appreciation, uh, I was reminded of a, of a camping trip that I was on with uh, uh, several of my family members a number of years ago in, in the Colorado Rockies. It was in the Collegiate Peaks west of Buena Vista, Colorado, near uh, Cottonwood Pass. And as we were out hiking one day, we came across a flat piece of granite hidden in some bushes on which was crudely uh, chiseled uh, a message. And the message was this. It said, Tom met Nancy here on and it gave the date. And then below that was chiseled this message. The sun shone an extra hour this day. I think this is another such day. And I'd like to, uh, uh, to the uh, trustees of the Cowboy Hall of Fame, uh, express my profound thanks uh, for honoring my father with your votes. Thank you very much.